What is up you guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm Tony Fuentes and in this video I'm gonna show you how to add a glowing effect to your text and simple objects within Photoshop. Now this video is quite similar to the one I did several years ago where we created neon glowing effects, adding several layers of depth into the color grading and into the neon effect. So this one's gonna be a lot more simple. I particularly use this one when I want to advertise a product and I want the text to pop up a lot more and simulate the glowing effect of a neon sign. So it's quite simple guys, so let's jump into Photoshop and edit this. So guys, let's start off with this one. In this case, I want to advertise this product or that's the purpose of this example. And in order to do that, we want to add some popping neon effect text. So if we want this effect to really pop, we need a darker background than the one that we have. In this case, just pure white and some shades. So I'm just gonna add some gradient maps on the borders of the image. Just like that. And I'm gonna start with a text tool. Now there are several fonts that really work. So in this case, I'm gonna use two. This one is the Swiss 721. Uh, condensed and also I'm gonna use the Harlow solid both of these come as a default in your PC or your MacBook so there's no problem guys so I use the color white and then I'm just gonna scale it over here and as we can see it really works for this effect now let's go down to the layer styles and apply the neon effect so we're just gonna double click the layer of the text and that will open up the layer style so I'm just gonna go down to the outer glow mark it and in this case, what we want to do is set the blending mode to linear dodge. And we're gonna set the opacity down just a little bit. And here, select the color that we want the neon effect to be. So in this case, I just want something more of a orangey type color. Happy with that. Now, let's say that you have in the background, not this white background, but you have maybe a brick wall or some texture. Now the spread and the size will allow you to illuminate that texture with the glowing effect of the letters. So in this case, if you move the spread up, and the size down you can see that it back illuminates the text so that's something that you want to take in if you want to do that so in this case I'm just going to leave it like that so it pops up a little bit more now the contour I'm going to leave it at normal and now we can adjust a bit of the size and the spread just a little bit around there now the range and the jitter will allow you to move the hardness and how big the glowing effect is so I'm just going to move it ever so slightly down so it pops up just a little bit more then we can hit OK and you can play around with those settings and basically that's the neon effect on this type of font. So let's do another one and for that I'm just going to drag this one with the Alt key selected and we're duplicating it and I'm going to change the text to the other font that we mentioned. And as we can see the effect already pops up and it already looks very good but in order to make a more like a cursive and a continuous writing we're just going to move the spacing of the letters here to a minus 50 there now they're a bit more together and i'm just going to modify some of the settings of the outer glow to make it less harsh so in this case i'm going to move the size up to make the glowing effect a bit larger and, and turn the opacity down to make the effect a lot less harsh and a lot less big and basically that's it guys you can play around with those settings and achieve some similar results uh, and it's looking pretty good now if you want to change the color you can do it as well up here and just select the color that you're happy with. So in this case, you can go with a aqua, hit okay. And that's about it, guys. As easy as that, you can do this with text tools, you can do it with shapes, you can do it with your pen tool. And it's a very easy way to make your images and your advertising in particular pop up. And that's gonna be it for this tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed it, can you please give it a like? It really makes a difference and consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload the next video. I'm Tony Fuentes, cheers to all of you and see you in the next one.